I've always thought differently about tattooing right from the very beginning. It didn't make sense to me to be constantly putting the same images on people. It was interesting to me to give people more options about what they could get tattooed. I was always really interested in tattooing in a way that looked more like fine art. The transition of the color, the smoothness and brightness, I was just, I want to do this. There was a lot of flack from other tattoo artists. A lot of traditional tattoo artists didn't really understand what the work was about. A lot of my friends and peers thought I was absolutely nuts, <laughs> like totally nuts, like what are you doing? <laughs> I have my apprenticeship in a street shop. And you know, at the time I was taught that you start with a black outline and then you basically, you shade all of the color into it. But it sort of didn't make that much sense to me if somebody wanted something to look realistic to throw a black outline around it. So initially I was just freehanding a lot of it. And the thing that I would always hear when people looked at my portfolio was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. It looks like watercolor. And it was always sort of funny to me because I've actually never even worked with watercolor ever. <laughs> when I started tattooing, I was a very traditional tattoo artist. And then after about three or four years, I started to experiment. Started adding paint splatters and drips and watercolor elements into the tattoos. And little by little streamlined that into the style that I do now. I like to incorporate watercolor elements into my work, often as background elements or different layers. I do a lot of watercolor painting, so the style of coloring is part of what informs my tattooing as well. My background is realistic style, so I still like very into realistic detail and I put watercolor style around it so it can make the design more like fun and interesting. Tattoo time. Ready. <laughs> For color work, I start with a gray line. So technically everything I do does actually have a black outline. It's just mixed with water and hidden underneath the color. Some of the elements of a watercolor tattoo would be washes of color, drips, splatters. It's loose, I guess a really good word for it. I like to layer the tattooing the same way that I would layer a painting. So most of what I do requires multiple sessions to get the correct amount of saturation and detail. I made this image for her, a half illustrative way and half watercolor style. Watercolor tattoo style is very bright and beautiful and whimsical. So a lot of people who are against tattoo even think differently now. And I think it's really good for tattoo industry. I think Amanda is one of the, the artists that she was pushing an envelope well before anybody else started experimenting with stuff. I initially just started to kind of talk to a lot of my friends and clients about this weird idea that I had about, you know, what would an abstract tattoo look like? She was the only other person I had ever seen do anything like that, and she took it into a completely different direction that no one else has tried, so it was super inspiring. I feel like I've never really completely fit into the industry. I've always just had very different ideas, so I just decided I was gonna do whatever the f I wanted. I saw Sasha Unisex work from her Instagram. It is so different. It was so original and so cute. Andras was one of the artists that, when I looked at his stuff, I, it was like nothing else I'd seen before. Little by little, the trend caught on and it became watercolor tattoos. And more and more artists sort of took a leap of faith that these tattoos will have longevity. There are definitely critics who do not approve of no outline tattoos with minimal use of black, if not no black. 
people would make claims that the longevity of the tattoos weren't going to hold up and that the, the work wasn't uh, sound. With color work, it may soften up over time, but it's not something that's going to disappear. I mean, you'd really have to get a lot of UV damage, which would be the same as putting a painting in a brightly lit window. Every tattoo is going to age. Um, every tattoo will probably need to be touched up eventually, but there's a whole lot more that you can do with a color tattoo, and there's a whole lot less that you can do with a very heavy black tattoo. The criticism doesn't really hold water. Uh, it doesn't hold water. <laughs> it's, it's a style. It's a preference in style, I think. And that said, this is seven years old. So, you know, <laughs> proving it every day. <laughs>